So I was looking through my YouTube channel today and I realized that it's been like eight videos since I posted a review about a fragrance with By The Fireplace DNA. So in the past, I've done reviews on, yes, By The Fireplace by Martine Margiela, Amir Al Oud Intense Oud by Latafa, Regba Wood Intense, and now it's time for another one because those ones just were not enough. We need another one. So guys, this one here is Majd Al Sultan by the house of Azdaf, which is a subsidiary of Latafa. If you guys feel like you might be a little bit tired of watching me go on and on about scents that have the by the fireplace DNA, I think this one is going to be a little different than the other renditions. I think this one might just be the best, might just be my favorite, and I think you might just want to stick around and watch this review. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Real Scent Review. It's been a while. Thanks for waiting around for me to get back. Uh, I've been missing you guys. I've been missing the reviews as well. Time to jump right into this one. Majd Al Sultan by the house of Azdaf. Azdaf, as I mentioned in the introduction, is a subsidiary of Latafa. So this one here is an alternative to by the fireplace by the house of Martine Margiela. I've already done reviews on a couple of other similar ones like Ragba Wood Intense and Amir Al Oud Intense Oud by Latafa. Those two, those three actually are really good. They're some of my favorites. I really like the by the fireplace DNA. I really like the smokiness especially and I also like the sweet chestnutiness. You know, I've always been a fan of the Stronger With You line by Armani. And I find By the Fireplace is kind of a, a more realistic version of the whole sweet chestnutty thing. You know, it smells more natural than the Stronger With You line, albeit maybe not as loud or strong as the Stronger With You line, but I just really like that scent DNA. And especially the smokiness. Love the smokiness. Unfortunately, By the Fireplace, the smoke does not last that long. Very quickly, it becomes overshadowed by the chestnutty vanilla sweetness. Now, that's not a problem. I still enjoy that scent. But when we get other ones, such as Ragba Wood Intense, has that awesome licorice note with additional smoke. Love that one. This one here, however, this, in my opinion, is very, very close to the By the Fireplace DNA. And it has additional smoke. In a way, you could call this by the fireplace intense, and I'm gonna explain why after I describe this bottle. So I'm gonna start directly with the bottle because the box actually is at my girlfriend's house and my girlfriend does not live close to me. The bottle, as you can see, is rectangular. It looks exactly like the Amir Al Oud Intense Oud bottle, except this one is covered in felt. And it has the name on the front here, it has a, Really light plastic flimsy cap that slides on and off very easily. Not a great quality cap. I think the bottle's a little bit tacky, honestly, but this is another example of don't judge a book by its cover because the juice is frankly awesome. Yeah, it kind of just looks like they took the Amir Al Oud Intense Oud bottle and put felt on it and changed the cap. Anyway, gonna waste a spray here or two. The official notes that we're given are the following. In the opening, we get smoke and tobacco. In the mid, we get myrrh, incense, pepper, and saffron. In the base, we get resins, amber, fir, and cedar. Now, my what I detect is a little bit different here. What I detect is in the opening, for the first five minutes, I get a really nice bit of oud, and that's mixed with amber and some incense. In the mid, some chestnut, some smoke, and some myrrh. And this dries down into a really nice smoky pine with some chestnut as well. So upon initial spray here, for the first five minutes, like I said, I definitely get some oud. It's an oily oud, it's not animalic, it's not barnyardy, it's it's just an oily type of oud smell. And that's mixed oh, with the beautiful sweet amber and some incense. Now the incense starts off as a smoky incense, not a dry incense. 
And as we go into the middle here, that incense turns into a more of a smoke, kind of like a burnt wood accord, right? And it's mixed, it's mixed with that sweet chestnut and some resinous myrrh. So this, in other words, just keeps getting better the more it dries down. And in the bottom, we definitely get some fur. It's still accompanied by some chestnut, but the chestnut goes dying down a little bit more. And yeah, the smoke is still present in the bottom, which, like I said, is kind of like a smoky wood accord as opposed to the incense. Starts off incensey, gradually dies down into a burnt wood, and it's accompanied by, like I said, some, some ambery sweetness and some chestnutty sweetness throughout the lifespan. And then the bottom here, definitely some, some pine nuances. Amazing scent. Bravo, Latafa, bravo. This one is amazing. They took By the Fireplace by Martin Margiela and just made it better in every way. This one here, right off the bat, I can tell you, if you like By the Fireplace by Martin Margiela, you're gonna need to pick this one up. It's really just awesome. It takes all the parts, all the good aspects of By the Fireplace and just amplifies them all. This still has the chestnutty sweetness, but the smoke in this is turned up. It's not turned up to the point where it's going to be offensive. It's turned up to the point where you think like, okay, this is what Martin Margiela should have done in the first place. This takes it, makes it better. Now, I'm not gonna go into specific comparisons with the other two well-known alternatives to buy the fireplace being Ragba Wood Intense and Amir Aoud Intense Oud. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Leave it in the comments. Do you want me to do a side-by-side -side comparison of all of these fragrances in one video? If you want me to, let me know and I will put that together for you guys, no problem. But for now, I'm just gonna stick with this, describing this in particular. And oh my goodness, is it amazing. It's like by the fireplace intensified. You know, in ways, it reminds me a little bit of kind of like Amir Al Oud, Intense Oud, mixed with a little bit of Mahir by Latafa, which is a super smoky one, almost a little bit too intense for most people. But this one combines mostly like Amir Al Oud, Intense Oud, with the, the smokiness and the pininess of the Mahir, but turned down a lot. Amazing fragrance. I think I have a new favorite from the house of, well, Azdaf, but you know, technically it's still a Latafa creation. So I'm gonna say uh, this is absolutely my favorite so far from the House of Latafa. Gonna get into the performance. The performance, it's not beast mode, and it's not one that you would want to be beast mode because you know there, it's definitely smoky and there's a lot of sweetness to it. But I'll tell you, this one here performs better on my skin than the original by the fireplace. By the fireplace has about a two hour projection and seven or eight hour longevity on my skin. This one projects maybe a little bit longer, but it definitely projects stronger than by the fireplace. I get a good two and a half hours of solid arm's length projection out of this one. The longevity of my skin is also right around the eight to nine hour mark. So definitely better performance than by the fireplace. And like I said, that scent profile is just more, a little bit more in your face than the by the fireplace. Very, 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 very similar scent composition. This one just punches a little bit harder. So moving on to the versatility now. I honestly think this is just as versatile as the original by the fireplace, albeit this one is a little bit louder. This one could be worn on a date easily. It could be worn in a formal situation, sure, because that added smokiness just gives it a little bit more depth and, and maturity to it. And also, I think this could be worn to any social event, really. It's not something I would want to wear to the office. It's very sensual. But hey, if you want to wear this to the office, go ahead. I'm sure you won't offend anybody. It just might not be, you know, super appropriate for that type of setting. I definitely think it leans masculine, but there's probably some women out there who would enjoy wearing this. But to my nose, definitely leans masculine. I also think that this is slightly more mature than the original by the fireplace, uh, because this definitely has the smokiness turned up. And there might be some younger guys out there who just don't appreciate that right now. So moving on to the price, man, the price on this is absolutely amazing right now. Fragrancebuy.ca has this for $21 US for a 100 milliliter bottle. 
that's a steal, guys. Like I said, if you're a fan of By the Fireplace by Martin Margiela, but you wish there was just a little bit more smokiness while still staying true, while still staying very, very close to the original DNA, definitely pick this one up, guys. Definitely pick this one up. In fact, I think even I would say that if you've sampled By the Fireplace and you haven't bought it, but you want to buy it, I would say definitely pick this one up instead of Martin Margiela. This one is like $20 as opposed to buy the fireplace, which is, I don't know, around $80 US right now. I think somewhere close to that. Um, better performer and the scent on this is just louder than buy the fireplace. I think this is a better value, honestly. One caveat I must mention is, I mentioned before, one of my other, one of my other favorite parts besides the smokiness of by the fireplace is the, the natural smell of the ingredients. I will admit that this one doesn't smell quite as natural as By the Fireplace. By the Fireplace has a very realistic chestnut note, very realistic kind of campfire smoke note. This one definitely does not come off quite as natural as By the Fireplace. But I'm telling you, nobody around you is going to be able to tell the difference in terms of quality. This smells off the skin out in public in passing. This smells amazing, it smells really nice. It's only if you really bury your nose into your skin, you might find that it comes off just a little bit more synthetic than by the fireplace. But other than that, I would say this is a near perfect fragrance. It's loud, but not too loud. It's got a really nice scent profile and it's just a compliment getter. People love this one, especially women. And it's pretty versatile, pretty versatile in the colder weather, let's say. I wouldn't want to wear this one in the high heat because it's smoky and it's sweet, but you could definitely get away with wearing this, I think, at nighttime, three seasons out of four, right? And during the day, three seasons out of four, I'm excluding summer. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed my review of Majd Al Sultan by the House of Azdaf, which is a subsidiary of Latafa. And again, guys, if you want me to do a side-by-side -side comparison of all the alternatives that I have of uh, By the Fireplace, please let me know and I will do that. Thanks for tuning in guys. Until next time, keep it real.